Today, I'm putting all of the teams in the SEC conference up against each other. These teams will be fighting until there's only one team remaining, which that team will be the champions of the SEC. Before the video gets started, make your predictions now on who you think is going to conquer the entire SEC. But before we get into the imperialism, let's go over the basic rules. First, I will spin a wheel to choose a random team. Then, I will spin another spinner to find out which direction the team will be attacking in. Then, according to the map, looking at where the arrow lands, whichever team the arrow is pointing at is the team that the selected team will be attacking. The attacking team will be away and the defending team will be home. I will then put the game into NCAA 14 and simulate the game. Whoever wins the game will take the other team's territory. Without further ado, let's get right into the imperialism. Here are all the teams in the SEC. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who will be attacking first in this imperialism tournament. Here we go. Who will be attacking first, guys? And it looks like, is it going to be Georgia? Ooh, yes, it's going to be Georgia. Let's see which direction will Georgia be attacking in, and it looks like they will be going to the northeast. And well, to me, that looks like they are going to be attacking South Carolina. This should be a good game. So here's how it works, guys. Georgia is away because they are attacking South Carolina, and South Carolina is home because they are defending their territory. So far, looking like Georgia can barely sneak away with the win here by three points. However, they still have one minute and 25 seconds. It's third and two. South Carolina is only down by three points. They need a defensive stop here if they want to get back into this game. And it looks like they're going to get it. Wow fourth and four georgia now has to punt the ball and keep in mind whoever loses here is eliminated for good south carolina only needs a field goal to get right back into this game tie it up but a touchdown to win it here we go south carolina gets the first down there is a minute left in this game can south carolina make their way down the field Ooh, what a throw and it looks like they're gonna complete the pass no way that is a touchdown 51 yard touchdown what a play right there can't believe what we just witnessed there that was absolutely insane georgia needs a touchdown to win the game here they still have 58 seconds in all three timeouts Stetson bennett has to lead his team down the field get a touchdown if they want to stay in this tournament going for a pass and it looks like oh he didn't even catch the ball there going for a run wow they just lost four yards there they have to go for it on fourth down they have no other option let's see if they can pull it off they need a huge pickup here they're going for a pass oh oh Stetson Bennett, he's still up, he's still up, but they're gonna get the first down, what a play. He almost got sacked there and they're gonna get a huge gain. This game is turning out to be absolutely insane. I thought Stetson Bennett was gonna get sacked right there, but he broke the tackle. Going for a pass and they get the first down. Georgia is getting ever so closer to the end zone. Will they have what it takes or will South Carolina get the stop? And here's a huge throw, ooh. And it looks like they're gonna get stopped and this is gonna be a turnover. South Carolina is going to get the win over Georgia. Well, what a game that was. Georgia will be the first to be eliminated. I'm going to come out here and say it. I was not expecting them to be out first, but South Carolina gets the win over them. There you have it. South Carolina is the first to take over territory. Let's get on to the next matchup. Georgia has been eliminated. Who will be playing next in this tournament? There's still a lot of teams to go, and it looks like Ole Miss will be playing next. Which direction will Ole Miss be attacking in? And it looks like they will be going to the west. So it looks like they will be attacking Arkansas. This should be a good game. Well, this has been another super close game and Arkansas has a chance to tie up the game here. Ole Miss is up by one touchdown right now. Arkansas has the ball. They have a minute and 26 seconds left in the game and three timeouts to get a touchdown. They're on the 50 yard line. Let's see if they can get something here. It's third and six guys. Ole Miss has a chance to bring them to fourth down here if they get the stop. Let's see if Arkansas can get the first down and it looks like yes they did but a huge hit. Wow. Ooh, wide open reception right there. He was wide open. He had green grass. If he caught the ball inbounds, he could have easily gotten some good yardage out of that. However, the Razorbacks are getting closer and closer to the Ole Miss end zone. Can they get a touchdown here? Well, it is third and nine. This game could be over. Looks like the quarterback is going to run for it, but it's going to be fourth and 11. Arkansas has to get it first down here. Or this game is over. There is only 18 seconds left in the game. Let's see if they can do it, and no, he's going to be sacked for 8 yards, and that is a turnover. Ole Miss gets the win. Well, guys, it looks like Ole Miss is going to be taking over Arkansas. Let's go ahead and update the map. Arkansas was the second to be eliminated. Let's head on to the next matchup. We've had nothing but exciting games so far. Who will be playing next? This could be another close game, and it looks like it's going to be Missouri. Missouri will be attacking to which direction, and it looks like they will be going south. It looks like Ole Miss will be playing once again. This time, they will be playing home, however, as Missouri will be attacking them. Well, this has been pretty much a blow on Missouri's end, because they're going to get an extra three points here if they make the field goal. Yes, they will get it. It will be 34-17, to 17, and there is just no shot at Ole Miss coming back in this game, so Missouri is going to get the win over Ole Miss, and Ole Miss will be eliminated. Well, Ole Miss did have a good run as they took over Arkansas, however, Missouri Missouri will be taking them over. Here we have it guys. Missouri just took over a good portion of land. 
Let's see who will be playing next. Ole Miss was just eliminated. Let's see who will play, guys. And it looks like it's going to be Kentucky. Let's see which direction Kentucky will be attacking in. And it looks like they will be going southwest. Therefore, that means Kentucky will be playing Tennessee. Let's hop right into NCAA 14 and get this game going. These games so far have been so close. It's crazy. Kentucky's only up by four points right now. Tennessee looks like they're going to get a good defensive play right there. Tennessee needs a touchdown. They need to stop Kentucky on defense here. So Kentucky's going to be punting the ball to Tennessee, and Tennessee will have another chance to win this game. There we go. Tennessee now has the ball again. Hendon Hooker, let's see what you can do here. They get a solid reception. Going for another pass here, and it looks like that's going to be another huge gain. 20 yards. Another huge throw. Ooh, that one was stopped this time. Gonna get the pass off, but this is gonna be stopped for only five yards. Can they get the first down here, guys? And it looks like, yes, they will. And he ran out of bounds too, so that's perfect because they have no more timeouts. There is a minute left in this game. They're getting ever so close to getting another touchdown. That could give them the win here. Especially if they run out the clock, that could give, oh no! Kentucky just intercepted the ball. Everything was looking so good for Tennessee right there, but then Kentucky got the interception and it looks like they're gonna get the win over Tennessee. Well, sorry Tennessee fans, but they are now eliminated. I kind of thought Tennessee would get the win there, but it looks like Kentucky ended up getting the win. Let's see who will be playing next. Here we go, guys. It is time to spin the wheel once again. There's still plenty of teams who have not played yet and it looks like Texas A&M is one of them. They will finally be playing. Texas A&M is looking to get in on this attacking and they will be attacking to the east. They will be attacking LSU. This should be a great game. It looks like LSU is gonna get a shutout here against Texas A&M and they could get another touchdown here to rub it in even more. Well, LSU is gonna get another touchdown to bring this game 23 to zero. And it looks like LSU is gonna get the win here and Texas A&M will be eliminated. Well, this is a huge pickup for LSU. Texas A&M was just eliminated. Still a couple teams yet to have even played in this tournament. Let's see who will be playing next. And it looks like Mississippi State will be playing. They are one to play for the first time. Mississippi State State will be attacking to the northeast. They will be attacking Missouri here. Missouri has a chance to tie up the game here as they are down by seven. However, it's fourth and two. They need the first down here or this game could potentially be over for them. Let's see here. It looks like they're... Dude, he was wide open. <laughs> what kind of a throw was that? Look at this. What the heck just happened there? Well, they had an easy first down right there, but they somehow screwed that up. Let's see. You never know what could happen. I think Mississippi State could get the win here, but we will see. Ooh, what a stop right there. They just lost four yards. There is third and 11. Missouri does have a decent chance at this still at getting the ball back again. If they can get the stop here, and it looks like, yes, they will. <laughs> These are some questionable plays going on right now on both teams. And, and it looks like Missouri is going to get another chance with the ball here as they forced Mississippi State to punt the ball. Third and five. They need a first down here. It looks like they will get the first down. Good play right there. He's going for a huge throw and it looks like he was wide open. What a touchdown right there. That was an excellent pass to a wide open receiver for the touchdown to tie up the game for Missouri. However, there is still a minute left in this game. Mississippi State still has all three timeouts. If they get in the field goal range, they could win this game. And this is a big return right here. Wow, what a return. 46 yards. They're going to try and run down this clock as much as they can and try and get into field goal range. However, they could have chewed off too much clock here. We'll see. If they don't get in the field goal range, that could be bad. This could go to overtime. Looks like they're going to get the first down, though. Five seconds left in the game. Going for a huge pass, and that is an interception to Missouri. <laughs> Missouri is starting off with the ball on overtime here. Let's see if they can get it done. That is a good stop on defense, though, by Mississippi State. Missouri is forced to kick the ball as Mississippi State got the stop, and it looks like the kick will be good. However, if Mississippi State can get the touchdown here, they will win the game. However, this is not looking good at all for Mississippi State. They're going for the field goal here. Looks like the kick is good. Mississippi State has the ball once again for round two of overtime. They're finally going to get the first down. Wow, this guy's not going to the ground. Good play right there. Going for the run, and it looks like, oh, he was so close to the end zone. And it looks like they will get the touchdown. Therefore, Missouri will have to get the touchdown or they will lose. Missouri has a lot of pressure right here. If they don't get a touchdown, they lose this game and are eliminated for good. And the quarterback is going to be sacked. This is not looking good. It's third and 19. They need a huge pass. And it looks like they're going to get a big pass. However, they get stopped. It's fourth and seven. It's all or nothing right here. This play determines the rest of the game's outcome. It looks like... Ooh, he's going to be stopped. Mississippi State gets the win. Wow, what a game. Mississippi State is going to get a huge pickup here. Here we have it. Here's the updated map. Let's head on to the next matchup. That was a long game there. It's time to spin the wheel once again. Missouri was just eliminated. 
who will be playing next and it looks like it's going to be south carolina which direction will south carolina be attacking to looking at our map guys it looks like the florida gators will be playing for the first time this tournament this is a one point game right now florida is up by one point 28 to 27 against south carolina however it is fourth and in inches if florida gets a stop here they could get the win and it looks like they will be getting the first down and some extra whoa this is a huge pickup no way they just got into almost field goal range well south carolina could get the win here south carolina was up by three touchdowns but florida made a comeback however oh they almost picked off the ball right there they're gonna be able to kick a field goal and run down most of the clock here and it looks like the kick is good so south carolina is gonna get the win by two points the gators are gonna be eliminated in their first game south carolina just took over the florida gators let's go ahead and hop into our next matchup we still have three teams who have not played yet alabama auburn and vanderbilt here we go let's spin the wheel who will be playing next and it looks like is it gonna be alabama oh it's gonna be close just barely alabama this is alabama's first game and they will be attacking northeast well guys i think alabama is just barely hitting south carolina here it almost looked like it was going to be vanderbilt but it's south carolina alabama will be getting a huge victory against south carolina in their first game of this tournament and it looks like alabama will be getting a huge pickup as south carolina just got eliminated here we go guys let's head on to the next matchup this is getting pretty exciting who will be playing next and it looks like it's going to be lsu once again lsu is only bordering with mississippi state guys so this will be the matchup wow guys mississippi state is gonna be getting a huge win over lsu i was not expecting them to win this game i thought lsu would get the win here wow lsu got a big pass there but it's not gonna be enough and lsu is going to be eliminated sadly and mississippi state is honestly starting to take over this map they are the biggest by far right now however let's move past that round and get on to the next round and see who will be playing next and it looks like is it finally gonna be vanderbilt oh just barely they're finally gonna be playing this is their first game of the tournament and they will be going to the southwest therefore they will be playing alabama they could have just killed themselves in one round guys this could be rough alabama is going to get a huge blowout victory just like i expected vanderbilt is going to be eliminated in their first game of the tournament sadly however alabama deserves this win as it is 33 to 7 and it looks like alabama will be taking over vanderbilt here we have it guys we are down to the final four it is mississippi state auburn who still has yet to play alabama and kentucky time to spin the wheel for the first time in the final four let's see who will be playing and it looks like it's gonna be mississippi state mississippi state is the biggest by far right now which direction will they be attacking in and it looks like they'll be going northeast and well if you take a look at the arrow it looks like they'll be playing alabama guys the two biggest forces on the map so far right now i thought alabama was gonna roll away with the game here however it's only a five point game but it looks like alabama might just sneak away with the win here minute and 23 seconds left in the game Alabama looks like they could get the win here as they are most likely going to be able to run out the rest of the clock as Mississippi State has just used their last time out and they're also going to get the first down oh no nope, they just barely got stopped however they will be able to run out the rest of the clock so Alabama is going to get the win here guys and Mississippi State is going to be eliminated well say goodbye to Mississippi State guys they had a very good run they made it farther than I thought they would and they took over multiple territories however it's time to make room for Alabama as they just took them over and are now the biggest on the map we are down to the final three let's see who will be playing first in the final three and it looks like it's gonna be Alabama Alabama is looking to take out this map once and for all and they will be attacking to the south and it looks like Alabama will be attacking Auburn this is Auburn's first game they made it to the final three without ever having to play and they could be eliminated in their first game it looks like Alabama is gonna get a solid win over Auburn sadly Auburn got eliminated in their first game of the tournament Alabama has a chance of getting another touchdown here as well and it looks like ooh, they were close Alabama wants to rub this in even more as they will get another touchdown to bring this game 35 to 19 Alabama's gonna get the win therefore they will be taking over Auburn and it looks like we are down to the final two teams Kentucky versus Alabama here's the final game whoever wins this game takes it all and will become the champions of the SEC Alabama is hyped up to be in this final game they want to get the win here and take over the SEC let's see if they can get it done guys and it looks like Alabama wanted to come out here and get a win against Kentucky to win it all they're up by too many points this game is over Alabama is gonna get the win Although here's a huge stroke from Kentucky. Nope, it is stopped. Alabama is gonna get the win, guys. Say goodbye to Kentucky. They somehow made it to second place. However, second place doesn't matter. What matters is who wins. And it looks like that's gonna be Alabama as they're gonna take over the complete SEC. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if your predictions were correct. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Also, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers.